I don't know how to start this. Um, hey everyone, um, welcome back to the channel where we're gonna be talking about the Adams Family movie that came out, well, last week. Uh, sorry for the background noise, there's dogs walking around everywhere upstairs, and I don't have a soundproof room. And when I say we, I really do mean we, and there's me, Kishtian, the real person with this channel, and I'm here together with my sister. Hi, I'm Mel, also known as Small. She has her own channel, Small Cinnamon Roll, Ele Small Cinnamon Roll Animations. Excuse me while I butcher that. <laughs> it's a mouthful. It is. Um, needs some work, but until then. Anyway, she it, not only does she have her own um, YouTube channel, she also drew uh, the Kishti Avatar OOC portraits uh, for me. Thanks to her on that part, because I don't draw. You're anymore. welcome. Anymore. Yeah, yes, thank you. Um, so anyway, we both went and saw the Adams Family animated movie yesterday. Yep, last night-ish. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yesterday, last night, yeah. And because I did try to do a basically prediction video, might as well talk about it, just see how far off or how right I am about it. Mm -hmm. And just a warning to everybody, we will... We will be talking about the whole movie, spoilers and all, so if you haven't seen the movie already, um, we'll just say right now, is it worth going to go see? Definitely. It was great. I loved it. Well, I mean, we'll talk more about it into it, but it, it is one of those, we do recommend going and seeing it, it, it because it's fun. It's, it, it, it's a good watch. It, it's Even if you don't know anything about the Adams Family. Which we do recommend having prior knowledge, right? I guess, yeah. I don't know. I mean, having prior knowledge would actually make this movie a lot more fun. True. Because you saw how excited I was. Yeah, you were fangirling about all the little Easter eggs yeah. from the the original Adams Family. Yeah. I and it, didn't know that much about it, though. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you guys have been warned where you will be talking about the entirety of the film. So, spoilers. You have been warned. Yeah, we'll continue from there. Um, so actually, the film started not what quite I was expecting. It, it started with base, um, not basically, but it started with Morticia and Gomez's wedding, like the two of them actually like tying the knot. Essentially, <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry, I have to say, but very first uh, joke, how they uh, basically tied the knot. You want to tell them what the joke was? Lime in the coconut, drink it all up. Like, that part, I don't get why, but at the same time, I don't really care because it's funny. Yeah, it was, it was, it was funny. Yeah. Everyone uh, gets lime in the coconut, they drink it up, and then stuff happens. It's like, okay, I pronounce you man and wife. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it up. Yeah. The stuff she's talking about is they, um, the villagers near the town they were getting married in, of course, doesn't like them, so tried to uh, destroy their wedding, resulting in the entire family to fight back, to, to, I mean, first off, to protect themselves, not to fully kill anybody, because family show! Their their wedding was crashed, so they have to hurry and run, and Morticia um, confides in Gomez that she wants a... Uh, home. She doesn't want to constantly run away from the people trying to, well, kill her and her possible th and and her family. So yeah, she wants and go safe. She wants a safe place to raise her children. She yeah. doesn't want her children to have to deal with people chasing after them just because they're different. So yeah, it's 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 one of those. Oh, different is okay. Movies again. Family show. Um. Yes, I'm gonna do that a lot. It's funny. It's anyway. It, yeah. Um, so Gomez agrees, and after that, that's where we see the real, um, first, uh, the first shot we've seen before in the trailers, which is the, uh, Welcome to New Jersey, them driving through the mountains, which I kind of got right here. Yeah, I, I did get this order wrong, is they don't see, they don't see the mansion, which actually turns out to be an abandoned as asylum. Or uh, insane house, or whatever the heck they're called. I can't remember. I think it's. it's, like, it's like, I think it was like insane asylum. I don't insane know. asylum. It's some sort of like um, wayward house or something like that. A place where crazy people go. <laughs> not just crazy people, but the Men mentally disturbed. Mentally not well. Mentally not well. Mental illness. Anyway, so they don't see that until after 
Um, they they hit. Um, trying to remember names here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna look up some names. So of we, course you're gonna. We look don't it up. have to worry about forgetting names because. See, see, it's after they uh, basically hit. Not till after they hit their uh, butler here that they see the asylum, which is actually where he came from. So he's not a real Frankenstein. He's he's a mentally insane patient who just kind of finally... Lurch. Lurch, there we go. Um, Lurch he just eventually escaped, and that's why he was out on the road to, well, get hit. But, yeah, which is what we see there. So then after that, that's when they uh, see the house, and then they go inside. Oh, yeah, wasn't, like... Uh, didn't Lurch, like, start playing the piano first, and then this guy, th- th- then the house starts yelling at them to get yeah, out? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, um, Lurch was playing, is like, right here, he was playing the piano when, when he saw, well, not piano, the organ. Yeah, the organ. Um, yeah, when they stepped in the house, he went and found the organ, started playing with it, and then the spirit starts, um, yelling at them to get out. Yeah. So, got that, um, out of order there, but it's fine. I get generally the right idea here. It's like, they're finding a new place, they found a new place, they got themselves a butler, and they're happy about it. So, yeah, and then years pass. I think it, didn't they say it was, like, 15 years? I don't remember them saying how many years, but that could be because I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, all, all, all I know is Wednesday um, starts middle school, or, or junior high, because the, uh, yeah, later on in the film, yes, she. Um, we already know from the trailers, yeah, she starts um, junior high, so she is a junior high age, so probably like 15 or 16 years. Maybe 13? Because, like, she does seem, like, really young. It's, I thought she was in elementary school. I thought they were both in elementary school. No, appara- well, apparently she's a uh, junior high. Okay, then. But anyway, yeah, in, yeah, in the house, yeah, she does say, uh, uh, Morticia does say she's gonna go. She, well, she wants her children. She wants to wake up her children, and the tree does go and wake them up. Ichabod. Ichabod, yeah, the tree. At one point, does he start attacking his father? It was uh. Was it before? I think it, I think this scene was actually after the uh, dinner scene, which I actually put in much later here. Which apparently it wasn't a dinner scene. It was actually a breakfast scene. So, oh, yeah, everyone woke up. They had um, breakfast here. Their uncle uh, pops in. Um, and then Pugsley um, has his uh, father and dad moment um, here where Pugsley just tries to throw bombs and nukes at his father. I thought that was a fun scene. That was a really fun scene. Yeah, they were really good at, like, uh, Gomez is really good at dodging. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, despite um, being a bigger man than what how he was portrayed in the um original live action series he's pretty nimble yeah which okay side uh comment here um that that was a complaint from our mother that she didn't like the design of gomez because they made gomez fat which quote air quotes fat yes but the thing is though the see um the live action TV show wasn't the original Adams Family. Mm-hmm. The original Adams Family was actually comic strips. It was like the Sunday Funnies, if I remember right. So they they were originally uh, comics. So they actually based their um the character designs in the animated uh, movie based on the original comics, not the live action TV show. Which, hey, it makes more sense there. It makes more, sen- more sense to have them based off of... Uh, Since they already have that cartoony yeah. look. Yeah, they already have the cartoony look, so might as well go with it. So it works. I like um, the designs. Oh yeah, the designs are great. And and Gomez does look a lot creepier here than he did in the live-action um, TV series. Um, or uh, movies. Because, yeah, I mean, the movies and TV show, um, he does try to be... The actor for, Go- for Gomez does try to be kind of creepy looking, but he's still more cute than creepy looking, while in the animated movie, he's legit creepy looking, and it's awesome. Anyway, back to the movie. So yeah, they have their father-son moment here. It was after the dinner, where during the dinner, so it, no, not dinner, um, the breakfast scene. It was during the breakfast scene, they were talking about, oh, re- we're having uh, relatives come in in two weeks, because 
Pugsley is having basically a um a transition to manhood ceremony. Yeah. Um, that's what was uh, going on. Yeah. Um, what was it called again, though? It was a really weird word. It was a mortes or something like that. I think it's some sort of Spanish word. Yeah, it sounds. Like it, it, it sounds like Spanish. Um, so it's some sort of morte ceremony, which, by the way, um, yeah, the morte ceremony, Pugsley's little story arc in the movie was, like, almost never mentioned in the trailers. So that was something they uh, kept hidden for pe- uh, for the movie and didn't reveal in the trailers. Because all we saw in the trailers was uh, mostly Wednesday and and her interaction with the other junior high students. And, of course, the mother... Okay, well, that's fuzzy, but whatever. But it was mostly, like, Wednesday interacting with um, the girl, and this is her mother, who basically runs the town, built the town, creeps on people. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Which, uh, a little side thing I kind of thought about. In the movie, the girl, Parker, gets bullied and stuff. But I was, like, thinking... Why isn't Parker the more popular girl? Because her mother is basically the person in charge of the town. Why isn't Parker the po- the more popular one? Because she doesn't look like her mother. Because the boy look uh, looks like the the woman's mother, and she's also more pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it makes more sense that this girl would. I don't know. It'd be don't it'd know, be more just... be more the uh, center, uh, but more be more the popular one, which is actually. Typical. The pretty blonde ones are the popular ones, while the just, the just tomboyish characters. No, just just something I, I I thought about after watching the movie. Nah. Yeah, well, I think it's Parker was is nothing like her mom anyway. So, yeah. uh, it may it makes sense that she's the one who kind of gets bullied. But that's a good point. Um, another thing they didn't show in the films at uh, not the films the trailer at all is that Wednesday and Pugsley um stays in this in their home. Um, they are not allowed to be outside because of Morticia's fear of the people outside possibly attack um, attacking her and her family. Mm-hmm. So uh, Wednesday and, Port- and Portisha, oh my gosh, Pugsley, Pugsley um, are like homeschooled essentially. Or cage schooled. Yeah, cage schooled. <laughs> it was cage school um, that they called it. Hence why Wednesday's joke of uh, calling the junior high a prison for children. Because she was, so instead of homeschool, it's cage school, and then junior high is prison. Mm. So, it, it makes sense right there. And also, I want to say Portisha again. Dang it. Morticia? Morticia and Gomez, the reason why they didn't even know that there was a town down below the mountains, because there wasn't a town down there to begin with when they first moved in, but there was a town now, uh, was because um, their home was completely, because it used to be, uh, well, you can't see it here anymore, but. It used to have been their home was completely covered in fog, but um, the fog dispersed, and they were able to see the town down there, worrying pretty much everybody, except Wednesday, who was like, oh, cool, something to go do that is not in my house. Yeah. Something I just noticed is that um, in the movie, there's confetti flowing, floating around their house, which is when they find out, oh, there's a town down there. In this shot right here, the confetti isn't very colored, colorful. I think they... Graded out, maybe? Yes. For, just so to keep people's attention away from that? Yeah, to, to, yeah, to kind of keep hidden of what's really going on. Because the trailers made it seem like they didn't know the town was down there. They just never really explored it before. Well, in the movie, they didn't know the town was down there until their fog disappeared and the confetti started flying everywhere. Yeah, and the balloon. Oh, and the balloon. Which is where she got where Wednesday got the balloon. Yeah, which... Because it showed up at the house from the uh, party thing going on in the town. So yeah, that, that was a kind of like, um, yeah, their way of keeping things hidden is by making the confetti pretty much look like dust. It looked more like, more like dust. That's probably what they were trying to do. Mm. So one, once they discovered all that there is a town down there, Gomez is, Gomez. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, by the way, this scene doesn't happen until the end of the film. Yeah, and like, I guess you would have uh, realized it's the end of the film by the look of that lady in the back. Because she, she has this happy, like, aw, look. Yeah, I didn't see that when I was uh, putting the um, scenes together. I didn't see her happy look. So, 
This yeah, this scene is not till the end of the movie, not the beginning dur um, during their exploration. Yeah, it was uh, Gomez uh, came up with the idea to like come down and visit the town to see what's uh, going on. So more to say hi to our neighbors. Yeah, yeah, Gomez character. Yeah, he's a lot more accepting, which is very like. I just realized I'm getting louder and louder this entire time, haven't I? Yes. Sorry. Which is very much like Gomez's character, where he's a lot... If I remember the movies in the live-action TV show, right, um, Gomez is very more... He's a more accepting... He has a very accepting personality. He's more willing to try something kind of new and interact with other people. He's more that type, like, giving people the benefit of the doubt. He, he's more like that. Hence why he knows what cotton candy tastes like. <laughs> that was the thing. Like, he actually... They caught one of the pieces of the confetti and Gomez ate it and he said it tastes like it tastes like cotton candy. Morticia asks, How do you know what cotton candy tastes like? And Gomez is like, Oh, I was a young child, I made mistakes. Yeah. Which is funny. Yeah. Which, one criticism I do have with the uh, with the film, which is pretty much the only thing I well, actually two things, but one of them more prominent is Morticia's character is very different compared to what we're used to seeing in the animated, no, not the animated, the live action in the movies. Morticia's character is very different here. In the animated movie, it makes sense for her to be wary of other people because of what's um, happened and what we saw during their wedding scene. Um, but it's just like very different from what we're used to seeing in the TV show where she's not as accepting as her husband is, but she's not so much of a worry ward. Like, when Wednesday, you know, like, coming like coming back in the beret. Uh, where is that one? I think it's called a beret. Or hair clip. Oh, something. oh, right. The beret is it's the, the Beret is a hat. Beret is a hat. Well, excuse me for trying to be all fancy. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday coming home with a beret in her hair. And so another thing they didn't show in the trailers is... She, once they actually did come home wearing her friend's, uh, like, pink and white clothing. Uh, because she can. And then she starts singing and dancing all funny, and the mother is just, like, horrified. Oh, yeah, Morticia was very horrified to see her daughter basically act like the townsfolk down below. And I mean, the thing is, her reaction, though, wasn't something we were, oh, at least I wasn't quite expecting. But her being a little worried, it, it makes sense. Of course, she did try to ground um, Wednesday, hence um, we, we get the short little scene where it looks like Wednesday is trying to escape. Which, by the way, I got the that whole or I got this word or wrong word. Oh, well. This is after she's already escaped, and uh, of course her friend is also wearing different clothing as well. Where they got the dark clothing, I don't know, because Wednesday didn't wear that, but whatever. Maybe um, she just threw all her clothes in black ink? Same what? with her hair? Yeah. No. I guess. I don't know. Which, yeah, apparently the es um, her escape happened much earlier, too. And the, f and the family coming in and such. Don't forget to kick your father goodnight. Don't. Oh, yeah, the scene where oh, she yeah, faints. Oh, yeah, where she faints. That's, um, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, yeah, this part right here. Yeah, that happens way earlier in the film. It's like when she, this is her actually seeing the um adam's family house for the first time and that happens earlier in the film and of course she goes and visits and basically she is a home home interior decorator or extra home She's designer a home designer there you go she is a home designer so she so she did try to help the adam's family but yeah, this really showed the the, um, the differences between Gomez and Morticia. Gomez was very open to letting her into their home and let her talk and whatever. But once the mother uh, basically crossed the line, that's where Morticia's like, yeah, no, get out of my house. So it was Morticia who uh, jumped on not liking um, this woman at all. It wasn't like uh, there was a few times they were making fun of... Uh... This woman, like, calling her made of plastic. Yeah, uh, plastic woman and such. Yeah, which, yeah, that was that was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, basically proving that just how... Or like, well, not really how fake the woman is. It's just how much of a... How much she uh, likes having a appearance. A good appearance for everybody. And prefer putting up a good front versus being truly who you really are. Which is a big message with this movie. It's just... Be who you are. Be who you want to be. Um, I mean, as long as you're not hurting anybody, which 
very true on Morticia and her family. It's, they really are being who they are. Not hurting anybody. Mm-hmm. Mind, most of the time, just minding their own business. Yeah, it, it, it's these, these uh, new people. The, it's the new, the new people moving in, and they're the ones who are the problem. Oh, yeah. I was about to say closed-minded people, but no, they were more of a hive mind because... Um, which is something they didn't. Oh, they they this oh, that was another thing they hid, um, in the trailers was yeah the instant mob right here. This one they hid in the trailers, but in the movie instead of an instant mob, it was um, neighbor peek, peeping neighbor, peeping neighbor or something like that. It was it was it was basically a another version of Facebook, but it was like their own social media form where people where neighbors can message each other about. Um, gossip, rumors, things that are happening in the neighborhood and such. And the uh, woman here uses it to manipulate the people in her village. Or not village, her town. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, this little instant mob thing, it's just a little gag for the trailers. While in the movie it was slightly different, but still to the same effect. Hmm. What else is there talked about? Uh, I guess the... Oh yeah, We could talk about the family coming. Oh yeah, uh, Snoop Dogg is it. Yeah, we didn't know that until we read the credits. And when, yeah, the credits are rolling and we being really interested in films and stuff, we were reading the credits and we saw and said, kind of said at the exact same time, Snoop Dogg is it? And yeah, we didn't know that at all. We were really shocked. It was a fun little moment there. Yeah. Oh yeah, the orders of everything here. Oh yeah, this scene is another um, end of the movie scene. Because the hat that Pugsley is wearing here is something he earned for basically passing his uh, uh, coming of age ceremony. Mm. Which the ceremony is just proving that you can't, you are old enough and responsible enough to protect your family. Yeah. Which is what the ceremony really is. And oh, that whole family dance sequence though. Yeah, they were tossing the sword around and... It was really cool. I just wish it was longer. Yes, uh, I do. And agree. I kinda, and I want to watch it again because just because of how cool it was. Yeah, that there's a, yeah that little family sequence. It was really cool. Um, and I also agree it should have been a, at least a smidge longer, uh, and just a little bit longer, like another ten seconds. Like probably like yeah, like another ten seconds longer. Just just how good and fun it was. Yeah, yeah. With uh, Pugsley, yeah, he tried to do the sword thing that they were trying to do, and. Didn't really do it so well, and he was losing confidence in himself, and then his father wasn't really helping by talking about Pugsley behind his back, saying, oh no, this is this is not going to go well at all. Well, Not but, really giving faith in him. Well, the thing is, Gomez was also losing faith in himself as well as a father, because he also said multiple times, oh, I failed him as a father, he can't, pa- he can't pass because I failed him. Mm-hmm. So it was another, like... Now, I think that's like the entirety of the film. It's the mother and her relationship with her daughter and the father and his relationship with his son. That's what this movie was also about. It's just, like, them trying to um, work their relationship out. Um, like, there is a scene, which is another one, another uh, favorite scene of mine, where Morticia tried to invite her uh, daughter a Wednesday for tea and seances. Which, the seance is, they were just going to call Morticia's parents, where apparently they were both dead. Which we see in the beginning of the film. Yeah, their urns. Yeah, we see their urns and she was using their ashes as eyeshadow and blush. Yes, I thought that was hilarious. And, like, apparently, I guess ashes make really good eyeshadow. Because did you see how sparkly it was? It was really sparkly, yeah. But anyway, yeah, Morticia tried to invite her daughter for tea and seance and basically talk to her parents again. And, of course, her daughter skips out. So it was Morticia talking to her parents and her struggles of trying to keep her daughter safe and connect with her daughter, and then her parents, um, yeah, dropped the ball. Like you know, you did the same exact thing. This joke was funny. Um, you know how you um ran away to join the Girl Scouts, only for you to quickly come back when you realize that the campfire is for roasting marshmallows, not other Girl Scouts. Yes, you were you flipped out in the theater when you when you heard that line. You were really excited about that. Yeah, I thought that was that line was great, and I like that too. Yeah, that that's a favorite um, from mine. It does, weirdly enough, to say this, but it does humanize uh, Morticia a little bit. Where it's like, yeah, 
sometimes their kids act like what their parents did when they were kids. So maybe we will see Pugsley eating con- cotton candy someday. Oh. Sequel, please. I wouldn't mind a sequel for this movie, actually. I never really thought about there being a sequel. I think it's alright on some, but... Mm-hmm. Like, if there's a sequel, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Maybe it would be about their third s- child. You know, the baby with the mustache. Oh, yeah, that's right. In one of the different... Uh, in one of the live-action movies, what was it? Um, Adam's Family... Adam's Family Values. That one I still need to actually sit down and watch the whole thing. Yeah, they did have a third kid in there. Um, so, yeah, maybe they'll do a sequel and they will have the third kid in there. Yeah. But, yeah, I wouldn't mind a sequel for this film. Yeah. What else? Oh, something they didn't show in the trailers at all, which I'm very glad they didn't show, but in the movie it was... It was great. The right before, like, the credits started um, rolling, and, of course, the, um, Pugsley passed his coming-of-age ceremony, and the immediate family, they, they get together and they have a group picture, when in actuality it's a group voda, group video, there we go, it's a group video, and it was basically the recreation of the um, opening, yeah, the, 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 like, the opening sequence and music to the live action TV show. Like almost shot for shot the the opening of the live action TV show. It 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 was pretty awesome when I saw when I saw that. Yeah, I freaked out there too cuz I thought it was super cool. Mom got excited too and you were both singing and I'm just like I only know a little bit because I never really watched the TV show. Shame on me. Yeah. We'll have to get the TV show sometime. Yeah, I want to watch it now. Yeah. I mean, I have the movies. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch uh, the Adam's Family Values yeah. movie for a while. Yeah. And, like, but now that we finally found it, since it was missing for a while. It was? Yeah, you said it was in your movie's uh, CD oh. package, and I found it yesterday. Oh, it, it was? I thought it was still in its case. You told me it wasn't in its case! Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, hey, one of these days we gotta get the shows on, like, on DVD as well. How many episodes are there? I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll find out later, but anyway. Yeah, I mean... Final thoughts for the film, for the movie? I really enjoyed it. I want to see it again. Same here. But yeah, if you are like a diehard uh, fan, um, and you, you, you take offense, especially with my little criticism of Morticia's character not feeling like Morticia, and it feels really different, um, it's a prequel movie. It's a prequel movie. It's the start of their family and their relationships and then finally interacting with normal people. You can think of it like that and just try to have fun. Have an open mind. Yeah. Yeah. Be yourself. Have fun. Don't hurt anybody in the process. Yeah. That's about it. (laughs) That's about it. That's all you can really say. We like the movie. The animation's great. That's what, yeah. that's what we need to say, the animation. Yes, the animation is great. Like, I remember when we were seeing Morticia put her makeup on. Like, it's really well done. They put a lot of detail in... The the ashes. Yeah, the ashes. And you can actually see, like, uh, you know, detail on the face. Like, the little pores. Oh, you can see the pores. Yes. Oh. Just... It was just, it did, they did a really good job on it. I thought, I think it looks really good. Yeah. And, and of course the music, I mean. I, I like the music. Yeah. It was great. I mean, it's just like, or almost remixes of like the original theme and, um, of course Snoop Dogg's, um, uh, Don't Mess With My Family, I think that's what it's called. If you mess with me, you mess with my family. Or something like that, yeah. Something like that, yeah. In the, in the credits and they had like. They made it t- kind of look all modern and stuff. Made the characters wear- have neon colors and I mean, like um, Andy Walsh style. I think that's his name. I don't know. Or is it either Andy or Adam? Adam Welsh. Adam mm-hmm. Walsh. I don't know, but like watching the the, the ending credits of the movie kind of re- immediately remind me of the ending credits of Spider Man Spider Verse movie. Thing. I still need to see that one. You didn't see it? No. I saw it, like, five times. It was great. Well, good for you! <laughs> um, anyway, yep. We liked the movie, and next time should be Maleficent. Have fun. You're not gonna come watch with me? I decided I'm not gonna go watch Disney live-action movies because I, do- I don't want to give my money to that behavior. I think thousands of people disagree. The thing is, I like Maleficent. Uh... 
Anyway, that's a conversation for another time. So yeah. anyway, everyone, thank you for watching. And um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel just to see and wait for more stuff to come out. Um, eventually, I'll get um, a couple other reviews out. I got two in the works right now. One of them I'm still waiting on some stuff for. And the other, I actually, I'm actually in the process of recording the script right now. So I'm finally out of the writing phase and into the recording phase. So, mm. and then, um, if you want, you guys can go check out my sister's channel, um, Small Cinnamon Roll Animations. Um, her link will be down in the description below. Definitely go check out her stuff, uh, support her, um, give her some tips and tricks in animation and drawing and such. She loves getting those. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we got. Yeah. Unless there's something more you want to say. Uh. <laughs> okay. Again, thank you for watching. See you guys all next time. Bye. Later.